Welcome back, guys. In the last lecture, we left off over here in the dashboard. Um, we were working on everything that involved um, that administrator portion of the application, right? So if you were the owner and you wanted to add new products, uh, new food items, uh, new categories, being able to, to edit the product, delete the product, all that stuff that involves the admin stuff, all right? That was uh, what we took care of um, previously. And now that we have that taken care of, um, what I wanna do is now work on the home page stuff. So stuff that the user, you know, when a, a user lands on your on your page, it's essentially the home page, right? And so because there's gonna be an e-commerce site and dealing with food is, um, yeah, we want to start working on that. So now that we're done with the dashboard, uh, here, as you can see, by looking at this icon here, we're still in the dashboard, but I just wanted to show you where we left off at. So here we have all our items that we could see as an administrative user to be able to edit and delete and, and create other stuff. All right, uh, so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top and click log out as an admin. And you can see, well, we end up here in the sign up, sign in page. And we also took care of the sign in page, the sign up page. And if I click on the home page, you can see it's empty. All we have is this display that says inside the home component. So what I want to do is I want to start off by creating a banner image or adding a banner image. So, um, so oftentimes when you when you arrive to like a home page, right? You you typically see like an image at the very top, all right, um, as like the introduction to what the um, the website is. So that's what I want to do is I want to add a uh, banner image here to this to start off our home page, all right. But this is our home page, and we're just gonna start off by adding our banner image. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to my home page so going to into the components we have our home page here or or home component and remember what you saw on the home page is all we had with this, this display that said inside a home home component all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this here and i have this code here or this just just notes to keep track of so the first thing i want to do is i want to add a banner image to our images folder Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna ha I have this uh, this banner image here, and this is gonna be the banner image I'm gonna use, um, and it's gonna be displayed at the very top of the home page. So what I'm gonna do is here's my folder inside. Uh, if you go into your let's see, so here we have our client folder and then go into your public folder and inside that public folder we have an images folder which currently holds these two images that we had for our sign up and sign in page so what I want to do is I want to drag my banner image inside this images folder okay so that was the first step okay so now that we have that available, we can move on to the next uh, part, which is we're gonna start. We're gonna add the banner image to the home page. Okay. So the way we're gonna start this off is for the return statement. I'm gonna start off with a section tag, and for the section tag, I'm gonna give it a class name of home page, and within the section tag, I'm gonna add a div and give this a class name of banner banner image okay all right just like that so this div element is what's going to essentially hold our image okay so now what we have to do is we have to go to our css and I'm gonna open up my app CSS file here. And I'm going to start off with this section tag and we called it home page. So I'm gonna put dot home page and I'm gonna give this a height of 100 VH, 
which stands for view height. Okay, so uh, that's going to cover the whole. That should cover the whole page, and then next I'm going to go to our banner image. So banner image, and what I'm going to do here is so I don't have to. Uh, retype all this stuff is I'm gonna make use of this stuff here but change this this image here I'm gonna change this it was we called it banner oh well actually let me see here I don't know if I gave it it yeah okay so the name of this file here this image is called is banner jpeg all right so I'm gonna go so yep images folder and then banner jpeg just like that and the background size is going to be cover, then background repeat, no repeat, and position center. And the opacity, I'm going to make it a 1.0. So just like this. And let's see what we get so far. Okay, let's see. Go to the console. All right. Let's see here, the home page, refresh, okay. All right, so let me add a height here. Let me add a height of six, uh, 60, um, 60%, let me add 60%. There we go. All right, so now we have our banner image okay and um, as you can see I put 60% so it covers 60% of the height of the page and if I minimize this page or shrink it you can see that it also adjusts um, which is really nice okay so there you go. So that was it. That's all I wanted to cover here. So we have our basic, our, our home page here, which uh, gives us a banner image. So that's it for now. Um, and I will see you in the next lecture.